Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Kevin Ellup from ksound.com. Listen, I wanted to do a quick review on something I thought was pretty amazing. It's actually using the Spectrasonic Omnisphere in a really cool way. The way I've been using it before was the long route in machine. So I'm back here with my machine here. And um, basically, if you, if you follow me on the screen, the way I was doing it at first I'm going to show you guys that first, and then we're going to show you the new and improved way. It's pretty awesome. So basically, the old way was to go here to my sounds here, and I can get to uh, my third-party stuff just by clicking on uh, shift, shift, shift Navigate, right? And then um, I'll have to go and search for the third-party. So it's Spectrosign. Okay, here we go right here. And this was the way that I was, you know, utilizing atmosphere within within my machine. So it pulls up like this, as you can see on the screen. And this is how it looks. And so it's like, uh, this is, you know, kind of boring or whatever. Uh, and But you have to bring it out in order to get the whole user experience. So you click this button here and um, then the plugin itself comes out. So like in order to get the full the full situation of your plugin, the full window, you have to click this little arrow here, and this is how you get this. And then you can go in and start playing around with stuff like that. You can use the parameters here in front of you in machine itself. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is not a easy way to like, like <laughs> go to different sounds or whatever. It well, can't you really say it's an easy way. There wasn't a way to get to the different sounds. It was just I don't know if you can use the micro function to, to get this stuff. This is just, it just wasn't like this. So, you know, the, the whole reason why they built machine or this machine studio as big as it is now, because this is, I believe, like the fourth generation. This is the flagship right now. They made this bigger so that you can, you know, keep your, your focus on the machine itself and not your screen. But you guys already know you and I like to use third party plugins. And so, you know, machine can't make, you know, native instrument can't make every, you know, they can't make everything. And we have love of other plugins, right? One of my loves is using Omnisphere. And so this is what, the, well, this, this was the, the only way to, to access this. But what if I told you guys there was an easy way to get to all these things as though it was built in this machine itself? Get into all of your, your your sounds and the, the categories and and you know what I mean everything listed properly and even the image you know it being an easy way to find whatever you're looking for. I am proud to say that my boy took the time out and got it right. He digged in and worked very hard to make this available for all of us machine heads. My boy Saint Joe from over there in Sounds and Gears, he put this together. And he has it available on sale on his website right now the link is in the description of below if you want to pick that up now but let me show you guys the awesome work he put together all right so we're going to scratch this we're not going to worry about this we're going to actually go to our browser section here and access that so now you get to go here you know like 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 all the other sounds where everything else live and then you just click on user and then now it's available here in my um, amongst all of my other instruments so now all I have to do is uh, toggle over to Omnisphere here, as you can see. Uh, if I click on the screen, you can see it's, it's located down here. All right, so now you have the image that goes along with it. And now within my machine itself, I can go and, and, and find the sounds that I'm looking for. So now... <laughs> When, when everything was pretty cool looking on the screen, you know, if, if you are looking at the screen, having the actual plug-in window open itself, now now that is included in, in, in machine, it's boring looking at it on the screen because now we're just looking at words. We're just scrolling up and down. But, you know, it, it, it's really more exciting coming here to your machine itself and just dialing in. Now I, I have all of the categories. And you guys can see it on my screen as well. All of the categories I can, you know, go between and navigate between. This is now the way, you know, if you're a machine user, you, you kind of want to keep the flow, the workflow into your machine. So now I can grab anything that I'm looking for according to the category. There's also the uh, the subtype here. There's also uh, 
the mode, the different modes here, atmosphere, library, atmosphere, atmosphere, library, spotlight, EDM, you know what I mean? And and I, and I think that this is pretty cool because there are some things in um, atmosphere that I'm pretty sure I would have never been able to reach or came across. It, it, it you know, me going through, I mean, the, the actual plugin itself is awesome itself, but now, you know, I feel like this is like another type of workflow because like I say, if you're going through your machine this way, you you, you kind of stumble across some things that you never knew exist. You know what I'm saying? So it's like another way to, to get to stuff now. And this is pretty cool because now I can hit the next button and just keep it moving. don't have to worry about a plug-in window being open right now i can just like continue working from here let's try and build something Now in order to get to anything factory wise, all I have to do is unclick the user button here and go to the other factory settings, you know, all the other other regular instruments and sounds and samples and things like that. Just go back to my omnisphere here. And say I'm looking for um, like a pad sound or whatever, just to give it a, I don't know, like a little spacious. Wait a second, I have to change it up a little bit. I'm getting too inspired right now. One, two, three, four. So before I bore you guys any longer, the whole, okay, let me explain further. And I didn't tell you guys this. Now, you, I already told you guys how easy it is to be able to come over to your machine and pick sounds like we're used to, right? Now, um, instead of me going the old route where, say, I want to add, say, say I want several instances of Omnisphere in my project, the first way I showed you guys the way I've done it the first time, I would have to go all the way back over and pick the plug in. You know what I'm saying? Go in that, you know, go the long route. But now, since it's in front of me, I can audition sounds, pick a pad that I want the, the sound to go to to go on and and just keep going. So getting Omnisphere several times on several pads is now easy now. You know what I'm saying? But that that's normal. That's the normal way of doing anything inside a machine if we working with with factory stuff you understand what i'm saying that was normal but when we using third-party stuff it was always go the third-party route also the cool thing about this is if you need to go back and make adjustments to the instrument itself you can always do that you can always go back over to where the instrument is basically where where I told you guys the long route, but you know, I still don't have to go in through the, you know, hitting the plus sign here and, and, and add anything, you know, you still have to click here and pull it up and make adjustments like before. But I mean, the, the stock Omnisphere stock presets are pretty dope. So, you know, you going over to the browse area, just browsing around the different, the, the different, you know, sounds or whatever, like just coming right out of the box again, seven over seven thousand sounds. Like, come on now, like their stock stuff is pretty dope. But if you want to do any adjustments, absolutely, you can still go on over and and switch back over to to this this side of things and and and, and still do.
what you got to. All right. So big ups to you, St. Joe, for this, for you, uh, Sleepless Nights. He didn't did over 7,000 sounds to get him to get everything lined up in categories and all of the tagging. And that's, this is dope for people like me, composers and getting in here, trying to be creative. And then you using something that's powerful as Omnisphere just never would have imagined that happening, but bro, bro pulled it together for us. So you guys, you must check that out. And it's not that expensive. Omnisphere is expensive, but in order to get this here, you know, to get his, he did the work for us. You don't have to do it. The only thing you have to do is go in and put him in his respective places. And he also has a video showing you guys how to do that. So once again, man, big ups to you, man. Um, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. This was dope. Hands down. I love it. It's, this is just the easier workflow now. This is this is pretty dope, man. Um, but anyway, guys, check him out again. The information is, the, is in the description below this video. If you got any questions, anything um, you have any issues with, please let me know. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, finish doing something to this here. All right. Remember, music is art. You are the artist. Paint your picture.